Tom, how are you? Auntie Vera, Grandpa Einbach won't let me play on the computer. Computer games are bad for kids. But I'm already 10 years old. I'm a big boy. Don't you remember? In order to break the hypnosis, you need to give Tom something that he didn't have during his childhood. Perhaps he didn't play any computer games? I never thought of that. Let's try. My niece gave me a disc with computer games. I just never used it. Look, Tom, we're going to play a computer game now. Hooray! What do I have to do? I'll show you. So Tom, what do you think? What an amazing game. It's great. Okay, now Tom, how old are you? When I grow up, I'm going to make computer games. Okay, I guess it didn't work. He's still hypnotized. He still thinks he's little. Who are you calling little? I'm in the fourth grade already. I think we're going to have to find out how to break the hypnosis from the person who did this to him. Are you planning on going back to the mushroom age? Yeah, I think it's the only way we'll be able to figure this out. You're crazy. You'll be hypnotized. I don't have a choice, Professor. Tom and I are getting married in two days, and he thinks he's only ten years old. Maybe he'll just snap out of it. Perhaps. But in ten years, he'll be twenty. And I could consider marrying him then, but this is totally unacceptable to me. I have a plan. The Uber Mushroom is mad and evil because he's lonely. He thinks he's the only intelligent being on the planet in the Mushroom Age. 
But when I was a toadstool... You were a toadstool? For a short time. It's a long story. Anyway, all the mushrooms in the mushroom age spoke with me. We just need to help the uber mushroom understand their language. Well, how are you going to do that? I have an idea, but I'll need to go back to the 16th century. Keep an eye on Tom for me, okay? Be careful, Vera. Auntie Vera, please come back. You're lots of fun. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Connecting to Nostradamus. Hi, Michelle. Vera, good to see you again. How are you doing? Did you find your fiancé? Yes, I found him. But unfortunately, he's seriously ill and I need your help. I am not a doctor, but I will do what I can to help. Do you remember the Elixir of Understanding? You gave it to me to help understand other languages? Of course. Do you think it might be possible to make an elixir that will allow me to understand the languages of plants? Say, for instance, mushrooms? Well, I don't know how to make such an elixir, but I did hear that the ancients knew how to make such a potion. Michelle, please help me. Please make contact with the ancients and learn how to make the elixir. I'll need to summon the spirit of a spirit who knows the secret formula. Okay. Let's summon them and ask them for help. Well, first, I need to figure out who knew how to make the elixir, and my knowledge of history is rather poor. We need to think of someone from ancient times, someone who was born after Jesus. Okay, let's think about it. Now I remember. Joan of Arc knew how to talk with plants. Are you sure? Joan of Arc was more of a politician than an alchemist. Oh, every politician is an alchemist at heart. Actually, everyone is an alchemist at heart. And what an impressive person she was. Excellent. Now let's summon her spirit. Okay. Like always, we need to collect the magic cards. Of course.
We'll need to collect herbs in order to speak with plants. We'll be able to speak with mushrooms, right? It works on all plants, including mushrooms. Michelle, can we trust this woman with a secret that's been kept for more than 3,000 years? I trust her. She's a good person and she's helped me on numerous occasions. Well, okay then. Let's prepare the elixir. We'll need the following ingredients. The herbs are ready. We just need to make sure that it works. The recipe is ancient, you know. Pour a little on that flower and talk to it. Hey, Buttercup, can you hear us? Ah, yuck! What the heck did you just water me with? Oh, sorry, Buttercup. We just needed to test this magic elixir. Well, don't test anything else on me. That stuff is nasty, and it will probably make me wilt. Okay, we promise we won't. The elixir works! Thank you so much, Joan. And you too, Michelle. I've got to go now. Thank you, and good luck. Goodbye, Vera. I hope it helps your fiancé. She's a really nice girl. So where did you find her, you old devil? Connecting to Mushroom Age.